So your aquarium fish are gasping at the water surface of your aquarium. This is super not cool. I've dealt a lot with this. Um, I see people ask it all the time in the fish groups. And if I'm being honest with you, it's not a good sign. So chances are you walk up to your fish aquarium and you see your aquarium fish and it's at the surface gasping. I will distinguish there is a big difference between a fish gasping at the surface versus floating because if the fish is kind of like floating on its side that's probably a swim bladder issue and that's super common um a lot of aquarium fish get bloat in this industry in this industry just because uh there's a lot of issues with overfeeding and bloat it, it's just it's a huge issue but so your aquarium fish are gasping at the water surface this is usually a sign that there's not enough oxygen in the water. So, um, and that could be, uh, there's the first thing you're gonna wanna do, well actually there's two things. That was, that was a cool car, huh guys? Sorry about the construction. Um, we got this shelf literally in the middle of the, the room here and that's because we are working on this super cool porch. Uh, my old lady is working on painting it. Uh, it's gonna be a super cool like plant sanctuary. And I'm really excited because I get to put another aquarium rack of tanks over here. And it's actually pretty cool. So if you guys haven't, well, obviously you haven't been to my house yet, but I bought this house to kind of like be a fish store. And that's why it's at like this busy intersection. It's right in the corner here. There's literally a gas station. Here, I'll show you how close a gas station is. There's literally a shell gas station right there so i don't know why i'm showing you this it's kind of random but all right so back to on topic sorry i get distracted really easily so your aquarium fish are gasping at the surface the first thing you want to do is add more aeration and uh we've been actually having this issue in the house um with a lot of tanks and what i did was uh, most of my tanks have sponge filters and then what i've been doing here here's the sponge filter right there what I've been doing is adding an air stone because air stones really add tons of oxygen to the aquarium and it's really beneficial to the fish, not only the fish, but the plants as well. Uh, and as you can see here, we are putting air stones in a lot of the aquariums. And what I'm telling you to do is put an air stone in there. Uh, you cannot have too many air stones because especially if you have like a some bigger fish and the water temperature, what? Uh, the warmer the water temperature, the, the, the more oxygen struggles to be in the water. So warmer waters have less amounts of oxygen. Sorry, that was really hard to say for some reason. This, this tank's looking a little lackluster. I think we got to put some uh, root tabs in the plants here and kind of start feeding these. This is water wisteria. I can kind of tell when the, when the plants are kind of malnourished. That's a whole other side topic. I have videos on that as well. So I told you there was two things to do here. The first thing is going to be to add an air stone and, or add two air stones. You know, maybe if you have a six foot 125, add four air stones, you know? And the second thing you wanna do is do a water change. I know it kind of sucks hearing that because everyone's like, God dang it, a water change fixes everything in this hobby and it's so much work, right? That's why you need to make a system where doing water changes is easier because you are going to greatly appreciate it because you'll do them more often. Look at this beautiful tank here. I just love this tank. It's got the Pothos. It's got the Lutwigia green or Lutwigia repens in here. It's got this beautiful beta. And I think there's some Coriodorus in here as well. So we got this beta in here with some guppies. So yes, it is possible to keep guppies with beta fish. We literally just set up this 55 gallon aquarium. And um, as you can see, there's two sponge filters in here. So that way we can get a lot of aeration, a lot of oxygen in the water, because we don't want aquarium fish gasping at the water surface because it's not good news for your aquarium fish. <sighs> we don't know what we're gonna put in here. We were getting some buck to tetras, which are a really interesting tetra fish. They're like a carnivorous, mini piranha but the guy's kind of on on the fritz about bringing him over i don't know what's going on it's been a long day guys i'm just chilling here finally it's the evening gosh look at this look at these houseplants they look so beautiful 
I can't wait to kind of have this room and the porch done so we can uh, so we can get the shelf out of the out of my living room because I'm sick of it. But yeah, guys, without further ado, I'm going to quit rambling here. Um, hopefully this video helped you. Hit me up in the comment section. Um, if you have any further questions on why your aquarium fish might be gasping for air, maybe your goldfish is gasping. It's really common for goldfish to go to the surface. A lot of people think they're gasping. Sometimes they're just, that's just the tendency of goldfish. I hate to say it. But also, they also, uh, if you feed them floating food, they'll go up and swallow air and get swim bladder disease and, well, I don't know, I don't know if you call it disease, but swim bladder. And essentially they get oxygen stuck in their stomach. So I don't know, hit me up in the comment section. Hopefully this video helped you. Without further ado, I am a fish aquarium geek. I love this stuff. So that's why I have a, a entertainment center devoted to fish tanks. Come on over and chill and we can watch some TV or something. I don't know. All right, guys.